Finally, Obama-era Dreamer protections face imminent dismantling by federal courts. Obama's Dreamer program, which put 800,000 young and undocumented immigrants ahead of actual Americans and kept them from deportation, will likely be on the chopping block in federal courts. Both the Trump administration and defenders of the program see the end of the Dreamer program as inevitable. DHS Secretary John Kelly told the Congressional Hispanic Caucus that the toxic Dreamer program is in jeopardy so long as 10 Republican-led states follow through on their threats to impose legal obstacles for the program by September. The Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program, also known as DACA, made it all right for undocumented immigrants to essentially get the football, that being their child, in the end zone, that being the U. Even though their full body, that being legally entering the country, was not in the end zone fully, and once in country, these children can stay and get work permits, so long as they don't commit any disqualifying crimes. The legal obstacles for the Dreamers lies in the fact that Obama lacked the authority to grant amnesty to these individuals. Stephen Legomsky, a senior counselor at Homeland Security under Obama, said the former president was well within his legal rights when he created DACA. But Legomsky doubted the program will survive because its fate will be decided by a conservative judge in Texas a conservative appeals court in Louisiana and the conservative-leaning Supreme Court. It really hurts me to say this, but the chances of it surviving are very slim, said Legomsky, now a professor emeritus at the Washington University School of Law. Kelly, who spoke Wednesday to the Hispanic lawmakers, said he is sympathetic to the plight of dreamers and would like Congress to pass a law permanently protecting them. That is highly unlikely, however, with Republicans in control of both the House and Senate, 